chapter 2 a journey to the moon let's get into our fun start work together with your partner to number the journey from earth to the moon according to the illustration so the choices you have are earth atmosphere outer space moon let's get into your favorite part story lucy and tim are very excited their parents had gone out of the town and uncle mike an astronaut had come to stay with them uncle mike was great fun he always thought of exciting things to do the last time he stayed with them he took them to a space museum have you kept everything said uncle mike as the two children prepared to catch the school bus yes replied the children see you after school you will have a wonderful surprise for you when you get back uncle mike said his eyes sparkling with excitement oh tell us what the surprise is tell us now please begged the children no no it's time for the bus you will miss if you don't go right now uncle mike urged as they walked towards the bus stop lucy said i wonder what uncle mike is planning maybe he will take us to the space museum tim guessed or he might show us his space gear lucy exclaimed but when they reached the bus stop they found out that it was a holiday because of good friday disappointed they walked back home and told uncle mike what had happened uncle mike seeing their disheartened faces had an idea well we can take a trip to the moon instead he suggested with a twinkle in his eye what both children exclaimed thinking it was a joke uncle mike revealed his surprise a virtual reality setup with this they could take a virtual trip to the moon from their living room after putting their vr headers the children were ready for the adventure they guided uncle mike through the vr program flying through the space landing on the moon they explored the craters and even planted a virtual flag even though they couldn't go to school that day lucy and tim had an unforgettable journey that they would cherish forever let's get into our favorite grammar adventures let's start learning about conditional conjunctions if unless conjunctions are used to show the relation between two clauses or phrases as cause and effect are called conditional conjunctions example if you finish your homework you can play here if shows the condition for you to play for something to happen unless is used to indicate that something will not happen if something does not happen unless means if not example she won't go to sleep unless you tell her a story